in the name of God, ever merciful, ever compassionate. 25th of Rabi Athani, 1337 after Hijra, the great and famous fatwa of Mirza Shirazi against the British colonialism. On 20th of Rabi Athani, 1337 after Hijra, the great fatwa of Sheikh Muhammad Tati Shirazi slackened the old and solid foundation of the British colonialism. The British, with their insidious policies, were trying to deceive the awake and resistant Iraqis. They were hiding their plans under the name of elections and freedom to take control over the Iraqis' political fate. The British colonialism announced that they want to flourish Iraq and that they are trying to help the Iraqis to achieve public welfare, happiness and to guide the country to the path of development and revision. The Grand Authority Sheikh Muhammad Taqi Shirazi stood against as this evil plan and fought against the British announcing his famous fatwa. Though his fatwa was short, yet it was so rational and so strong, saying In the name of God, the ever-merciful, the ever-compassionate. Muslims, Muslims are forbidden, are forbidden to, elect to elect any non-Muslim to rule over Muslims. 25th of Rabi Athani, 1337 after Hijra. Sheikh Muhammad Taqi Shirazi This fatwa is mentioned in page 81 of Al Haqqaiq al Nasi'ah. This fatwa was the first virtual bullet that calls people to jihad. Tens of thousands copy of fatwa were to spread in cities, villages and houses causing national and patriotic upsurge, leading the British to retreat from their policies and smited their rulers. Revolutionary Command Council after the announcement of the fatwa, the Grand Authority Shirazi formed a council to consult the scholars and to deliver his orders to the fighters through them. This council was formed of many scholars such as Sheikh Muhammad Riza Shirazi, the oldest son of Sheikh Muhammad Taki Shirazi, Sayyid Hibat al-Din Shahristani, Mirza Ahmed Khurasani, son of the great researcher Akhun Khurasani, Sayyid Abul Qasim Kashani and Sheikh Mahdi Khalisani. The General Public Unity for the Islamic Revolution After the announcement of this formidable fatwa, the firm and resistant Iraqis and especially the youth started preparing the general public for a pervasive national revolution. British Second Trick After the extensive failure of the election trick, the British attempted to try another evil plan to regain their political power over Iraq, thus they proposed the idea of national movement. Major Norabi, the British ruler, gathered a group of Iraqi prominent figures and announced, Great Britain came to Iraq to bring freedom, not to colonize, thus we propose to establish a national council to supervise all the domestic and national issues. Issues like politics, economic, social and so on. In the meantime, the British ruler will only give his advisory opinion whenever it's needed. After realizing the vanity and the evilness of this plot, the Iraqis joined in revolutionary groups and stood up against the British colonization.
the first step jihad the tribe leaders of Euphrates region gathered and went to Sheikh Muhammad Taki Shirazi in Karbala to announce their willingness to obey and sacrifice. On 1st of Shaban 1337 after Hijra, they gathered in his eminence house and asked him to determine their rules for each one of them. The Grand Authority Shirazi in a short speech said the following, My religious duty requires me to announce defensive jihad. <laughs> Sending commissions to South, Middle and North of Iraq. Several commissions consist of scholars, tribe leaders, and educated figures were sent to southern regions, Middle East regions, Baghdad, and to north of Iraq. The Grand Authority Shirazi ordered to use military power. After he saw that the British are continuing their inhuman actions, the Grand Authority Shirazi issued a second fatwa saying the following. All Iraqis, All Iraqis are obliged, are obliged to, claim to claim their rights. Their right. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, they have they to have keep to peace and security. security. And if the and British if didn't, didn't fulfill your, your rights, you are allowed, you are allowed to, to use military, military power. power. Sheikh Muhammad Taqi Shirazi. Thus Muslims from all around Iraq stood up for a pervasive revolution to defend their sanctities. The holy city of Najaf, its scholars, tribes had a very distinctive role in liberating the occupied areas from the British colonialists, especially the holy city of Najaf. liberating the holy city of Najaf. After liberating the holy city of Najaf using a variety of weapons, the elders and the prominent figures in Najaf established four independent councils to prevent the negative aspects and action that might happen during such condition to take place. First council was the city council, second administrative council, third implementation council, and finally the scientific council. The bombardment of Kufa Mosque. On the 8th of Dokhtada 1338, after Hijra, the British military forces using their warplanes bombed the mosque of Kufa, killing many worshippers, innocent children and women. The holy city of Najaf on the 9th of Dokhtada 1338, after Hijra issued a statement upon that. The exiled freeman of Karbala. The British colonialists, with the autonomous barbarity and violence, captured a group of prominent educated figures and tribe leaders, then exiled them to outside of Iraq. Some of them are Sheikh Muhammad Rida Shirazi, Sayyid Muhammad Ali Tabtabai, Sheikh Hadi Kamuna, Haj Ali Alwan, Abdul Hadi Al Qambar and many others. <laughs> Liberating the holy city of Karbala. On 9th of Dhul Qaeda 1338 after Hijra, the Grand Authority Shirazi ordered to expel the British ruler whom by using force and violence came to the city and insulted the sons of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. A 
Upon this fatwa, the faithful people of Karbala wholeheartedly revolted and expelled the British ruler. Then, and to manage the affairs of revolution, four councils were founded. The Scientific Council, the National Council, the Service Council, and the Revolution Council. The bloody wars continued and the brave sons of this country and Holy Land liberated their land city by city and village by village till the great victory came and the Muslims defeated the oppressors and the infidelverge.